give you an idea of what I'm packing into my fridge right now. I went to the grocery store a couple days ago, so I'm fully stocked. This is one of the uh, little batteries. Uh, I think it's 280 some watt hours that I use strictly for uh, the diesel heater. So you can see I have the uh, diesel heater plugged in here and uh, when I want to run it I just turn that on. So, for example, it was fully charged yesterday, and uh, last night I think I ran it for one hour, and this morning I ran it for uh, two or three hours, because I get up early. Usually I'm up about five o'clock. I've only used about, oh, 50, 60 watts out of this thing, uh, running the heat. So, rather than put it outside on its own panel, I use the Blue Eddy over here and I just come out of one of these uh, 100 watt USB-C ports and uh, this one you can charge, a lot of them you can, with, through the USB-C port. So I am effectively through charging that battery now from the Blue Eddy which is uh, right now getting uh, 111 watts, uh, 9 o'clock in the morning here. That's pretty good for only 200 watts up there on the, uh, the roof. And uh, you can see the little orange battery is pulling about 100 watts there. And at that pace, uh, knowing each one of these bars is only uh, at most 60 watts a bar, that thing will be charged in probably a half hour, maybe a little bit longer. So usually I'll just top things off in the morning. Um, normally, unless it's just cloudy and rainy for a really long time, um, it's not hard to keep my batteries charged. You can see I have the uh, Starlink plugged in here. I've always got cords hanging out of the the best two ports here that I use the most are the 100 watt USB C's. If I ever bought any other battery, I'd make sure I had at least those 100 watt USB C's because it charges my uh, laptop. Actually, uh, plugged it in earlier this morning, and it'll uh, charge it pretty rapidly through that. My tablet, um, my phone. Uh, all of these devices that I use to make videos with, like this camera, the drone, um, charge the lights mostly. Uh, you can see this is one of the ceiling lights that I use. Uh, I have three of these now. Very seldom do I drain uh, a couple of them in one day. So uh, right now that one's plugged in. Where those usually go, 
actually where I pulled it down, I'll show you. This is just another one that I'll pop up there. This is over my cooking area. I just uh, hang these lights from there. I'm pretty happy with this uh, type of light. Aside from the uh, three puck lights that I have on the ceiling, and those just unscrew and come down, and uh, these charge super quickly. I have uh, one, I have three on the ceiling and one down, so uh, when one starts to run out, I just plug the other one in. Those take, I don't know, like I think 30, 40 minutes, and uh, they're charged. And uh, the only other light I have, and probably the best one I have, and these are all USB-C chargeable. There's no cords. These are pretty badass. This is the brightest light that you could get. So uh, depending on what I'm doing at night, uh, sometimes I want a lot more light in here if I'm cooking at night or early in the morning when it's still dark. And the nice thing about this one is it has the uh, yellow light on it, which is uh, effectively like the bug light. So when it gets dark, uh, I can have a light on in here with the door open. Uh, granted, usually if it's buggy, I'm going to put a screen up here uh, and I have Velcro surrounding the uh, door trim here and uh, I just pop up one of those screens with Velcro on the back of it and uh, once the back door is closed, uh, that'll keep the bugs out. And usually that doesn't happen until uh, in the evening like uh, starting a couple hours before uh, the sun goes down. So I've been carrying around these lemons for about a week or so. Got them for free in Alamo Lake where someone was giving them away. And I am going to attempt to make lemonade. I watched one quick video on how to do it. Hopefully these lemons are still good, so we'll just cut them on in half. These were in the car all night long, so they're pretty cold. I guess that's not going to matter. This stuff's going to start out hot. 
and I'll show you why later. So I don't carry around a juicer. So this will be a little bit primitive. I'm just going to hand squeeze these all into a measuring cup. Have a couple of these. So far, we almost have a cup going on these. So I'm just winging it here. I suppose I could have squeezed these all into this bowl first, but uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna pour it through my strainer. I got about a cup and a half of lemon juice. Should make a little over twice that much lemonade. Okay. There's my juice. going to use one of my uh, <clears throat> empty Nalgene bottles and I'll get a measurement of this hopefully I can pour this in here without s spilling it and what the video I looked at said uh, equal parts water and lemon juice get some of this stuff out of the way and uh, See you on the next step. I'm going to heat up some water that I'm going to put the sugar in and to make a syrup. And the breeze is coming from that way today. So I'm just going to shift things down onto that end of the table. Set up my little wind guard. It looks like I came up with uh, about 10 or 11 ounces of lemon juice. The video I watched said use equal parts. water with the lemon juice and then you can go from there and uh, adjust it with more water for taste and here's the part some of you uh, won't like maybe uh, but I'm gonna use pure granulated sugar and I don't have I never carry sugar around so I went and bought sugar just to make lemonade with <clears throat> so I thought I had the uh, camera rolling what lemon juice I had here in my Nalgene bottle I added the water with the sugar dissolved into it and I tasted that and it was still super tart and uh, sugary are way too sweet and tart which is nice because at this point you just add water and to uh, taste and that's still gonna go a long ways okay the liter I have of lemonade so far that's too tart and too sweet yes between two containers I don't have a pitcher or anything like that so I would say that's a success. Never made that before. It's not rocket science. But out of those lemons, I got, uh, not counting what I drank already, uh, I'd say I got about a liter and a quarter of a decent lemonade here. 
I were do, uh, to do it again later, I think I would use a little bit less sugar. And so since I don't have any ice, uh, I don't use my refrigerator as a freezer. I'll just have to delay my sense of gratification here. I'm drinking this lemonade and I'll put the one liter in there in the refrigerator. And uh, at lunchtime, I think it's only like, I think it's only about 10 o'clock right now. So uh, for lunch, at 12 or 1, I imagine that um, lemonade's going to be nice and cold to have a sandwich with later. I have a friend out here. Look at this. What you doing? It's okay. Don't mess my panels up. <laughs> they just released a bunch of these uh, a few days ago. So this bunch is a bit skittish. 